in World War II. The site here was one of the biggest aviation sites in the world, if not the biggest. And the enemy knew we were building lots of vital aircraft here. So they decided to spread out production. They were spread out into shadow factories and satellite factories. Satellite factories could be companies like Jaguar, where they built crystal aero engines. Shadow factories were much more secretive. They were in unlikely locations. Tobacco factories, railway sidings, tunnels and caves. Now most vehicles in those times of course were petrol and diesel, but if you're working in tunnels or caves, isolated, underground for a long time, you wouldn't really want lots of nasty fumes. This electric car here was used to move engines, engine parts, aeroplane parts around the tunnels. It wouldn't make any noise and it wouldn't release any nasty fumes. The people that drove them and worked in these factories, many of them were women taking on vital roles, relieving men to go off and fight in the war. So a lady would stand up front here, facing forwards, and drive around underground in tunnels and caves, delivering what they produced. Working in tunnels and caves for long periods of time can be quite stressful and demanding on your mental health as well as the body. So they liven them up with beautiful murals on the walls to make their days a bit nicer and also they would get sunlight therapy. So why do they need sunlight therapy? Well, if you don't get enough sunlight, you can lack vitamin D. And vitamin D can cause health problems if you don't have enough of it. So they would have UV sunbeds, which would mimic the sun and allow the skin to generate vitamin D. But ultraviolet, not too good on the eyes. Many of you may have ultraviolet sunglasses or glasses. So they would give people using these UV sunbeds plastic UV goggles, like the example we have right here. <laughs> 